Clarice TV, talking to Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson for the, the 2 1, the big 2 1 derby victory over Billericay Town. Robbie, what was your view of that one? I thought we were really good from, from start to finish. We were, we were very, very good and, and thoroughly deserved the victory. We, we got the ball down, tried to play football on obviously a difficult pitch. Um, I thought Villaricky would come and try and do the same because they've got really good footballers actually, but um, they made it pretty obvious their game plan from the start that they would um, hit long balls into our back line, try and create pressure, try and create free kicks, long throws. Um, and other than one incident, um, we dealt with it superbly. We stood up, we stood tall, we stood strong, we stood together and we, and we handled it comfortably really, apart from that one moment. And the players lost concentration in that one moment and it's, it's important to speak about that. Um, obviously there was an incident in, in the goal and um, it, it was, uh, I know their player quite well. He, he likes to gain an advantage from the opposition in any way he can and um, he tried to in that instance. And, um, but, but the abuse that Dara got as well, um, you know, we can't ignore that and we have to speak about it because there is no place for it at all. You know, our physio heard it as well as Dara and um, there really is no place for that in society, let alone on the football pitch when someone's at work essentially. So um, really disappointed to hear that from a human perspective um, and, and the players lost concentration for that corner. And, um, Look, who can blame them when something like that gets done to one of their teammates, you know? So, um, disappointing to, to, that it happened. Um, disappointed that we conceded a goal from it. Um, but, but the players soon regrouped and, and, and got back on it, got back trying to play football, carried a threat all game and um, fine details matter. And a moment of quality, I thought it was a quality finish from Dion to win the game. Yeah, and just talking about the game, generally they were, it was quite a game where the, the direction of play seemed to shift, but it was something that we dealt with well. And, you know, at the end of the game, well, as derby games do, but at the end of the game, it's, it's a deserved three points, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, really pleased for the fans. You know, I think every every derby or Essex derby against Billy Ricky that I've been here with, it's been ended in a draw. Um, but it's nice, so it's nice to get a victory. Um, and listen, it's, it's a great day for us uh, as a team and as a, as a performance. Um, yes, we move nine points clear now um, with four games left. It's not over yet. And regardless of whether it's over or not, I want us to um, keep improving from now to the end of the season um, so we can come back next next season and, and really get off to a flyer. Yeah, and just talking about those three points, you know, it's clear what, what, what end of the table both teams are at. So moving nine points clear and, and well, just those three points, how, how important do you see those? Massive, you know, we knew that and, and we spoke about that before the game. You know, there's been some question marks this season over us as a group handling pressure games. So the Harrow game, um, Chesant at home, Welling away. Um, I felt Hemel as well, that I, I tried to put pressure on the players, Hemel at home, um, and, and we fell short um, in performance, in work rate, in all of those games, in, uh, and in a physical nature as well. Um, so we spoke about that before the game in the team talk. You know, I said there was question marks over us as a group in these type of games, and um, makes me really proud to have, to have watched that performance um, from a defensive standpoint and energy work rate, how we stood tall against a more physical, more experienced team than us. Um, and then when we got it, we, we showed tremendous bravery on this pitch to try and play football. Um, so really, really pleased with those three points and the performance. And of course, talk, just talking about the winning goal, Dion, Dion Bags just after he comes on, is, is that going down as a managerial masterclass? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Listen, the fine details really matter. We've tried to been drill that into the players, um, well, all season really, but particularly, particularly these, these last few games. Um, and you know, the, the timing of, of, of the throw-in. Um, Tom Blackwell finally cut one back. We were screaming at him to cut, just cut one back on the bench because he found the keeper's hands on a few occasions getting in similar positions. And it's just pure concentration from Dion. 
you know, he, you have to watch that ball bouncing towards you. It is tough not to just lash it. It goes over. You see him go over so many times, but he just concentrated on it, got a nice side foot finish and essentially just passed it into the corner. It was a fantastic finish. Really pleased for him because he's been patient since he's come in on loan. Um, you know, we've spoke regularly about what I want from him um, and, and I, I told him that he would get his opportunity and, and when he gets it, that what I expect. And um, yeah, fair play to him. Yeah, and then just just looking more generally in terms of his Easter weekend's guy, it couldn't have been any better for us. So it's and that sets us up really nicely, doesn't it, going into the final four games of the season? Of course, you say the job's not done, but but going into those final four games, it, it, it puts us in a good place, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll focus on Slough here. We've, got, we've really got to focus on Slough. You know, we we went there first game of the season, didn't perform badly, but ended up on the wrong side of the result. And um, I really want to put that right, and hopefully we can. And then we move on to the league leaders to really test ourselves and hopefully show how good we can we can be against a team that's that's likely to go up yeah well for the final time for myself at least Simo thank you and best of luck for the rest of the season thank you